Hello and welcome to a new video about ID systems. This time we start to talk about 2D codes. Uh, 2D codes, there are some out there. Uh, so we are not covering all codes, all possible codes which are, which are there. Uh, I'll just give you some examples. Basically, there are two different codes, let's say, two different code types. Yeah? There's the so-called stacked code. Yeah? Which are pretty much working like a book, line by line. Yeah? So several lines are stacked to one code. Yeah? And they read it line by line. And then there are so-called matrix codes. where the data is simply presented in form of a matrix. So this is more like a book and this is like a picture. I give you some examples. One possible, one possible stacked code would be coder block. Coder block. This coder block is based on code 3 of 9 or code 128. Yeah? So there's, for instance, coder block A. Yeah? This is based on code 39. Yeah? And there's coder block F, which is actually based on code 128. Yeah? Basically, it's, it's code 3 of 9 and code 128 in lines. Yeah? Here we can have 2 to 22 lines. Here we can have 2 to 44 lines. Here we can have 61 characters per line. Here we can have 62 characters per line. So here we would end up at 1340 characters. And here we are ending up at 2785 characters in total. Coder block is rather used, for instance, in a, in a blood bank, blood reserve, these this bladders or these this containers, blood containers, they're usually labeled that, that way, yeah? coder block. Another form of stack code is the PDF portable document file 417. This is also a stack code. It has re pretty rigid uh, constraints in how the alignment and so 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 is uh, so information density uh, is medium let's call it uh, it's not too high uh, we can have up to 200 200 characters which can be coded yeah uh, pdf 417 this Probably you have seen it also already, yeah. Because if you uh, ever used the lottery, yeah, this data block at the bottom of the ticket, this lottery ticket, is usually PDF 417. Yeah? Also, boarding passes on the airplanes. Yeah? This is also PDF 417. There is also this field with this black and white patterns and so on. This is this stacked code, also working in lines. Okay. One good example, uh, or because everybody knows, uh, of matrix code is the so-called quick response code or QR code. Uh, this was developed in Japan by Denso for the manufacturer Toyota. Okay. This QR code uh, can can code up to uh, 2,965 characters uh, or bytes, uh, depending a little bit on the error correction level. What this code makes really strong is that there are different uh, error correction levels. Uh, there is the error correction level uh, low, uh, L, where 7% of the, of the code might be destroyed and still can be read. Then there's median, yeah, 
where 15% of the of the surface might not be readable and still can be decoded. Yeah. Then there's the Q level. Yeah. This is 25. Yeah. And there is the high level. This is 30%. Yeah? Depending on the level of error correction, we have more or less characters available because there's a maximum size and so on. This QR code, quick response code, they have the special pattern that we recognize or that it can be recognized where is left, where is right, where is bottom, where is top and so on. Yeah. And these error correction levels makes them very robust. Yeah. Robust in reading and so they are widely used. Meanwhile, there is even uh, a little bit, of course, it's human nature to play. Yeah? It's human nature to play with stuff. Uh, so there are also picture QR codes, yeah? where it is, oh, the QR code itself contains information, but also gives a little picture. <laughs> QR code. Another quite um, known matrix code is the data matrix. Pupils, or pupils of the Hartels and Burton know this data matrix because our classroom laptops, they are marked with data matrix code. There is a little sign on it with data matrix code. This data matrix is getting, uh, is gaining more and more importance. It was developed in the USA by Acuity Corporation. And yeah, it has also a high level of, of error correction, yeah, at 30%, yeah, up to even 60% yeah, of the coded data are for error correction. I cannot give numbers like this because here and this type of error correction, it depends a little bit on which part of the information is destroyed. Yeah? If you're very unlucky and you destroy exactly only small, small, tiny parts of the information, it might end up to be not readable. Yeah, but this many is one in a million. Okay. If you're destroying the right information or the, 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 the good information for the error correction procedure, you can, 25% is no issue yeah? by default, data matrix. Yeah. It is used, for instance, for the internet stamp yeah, or like a part identification lasered in parts in the automobile industry in, in, as a car industry. And like I said, also we have marked our computers in school with this data matrix. Yeah. It has a very specific form. You can, you're recognizing it for sure. Yeah. Here we can code up to 2300 35 ASCII characters with 7 bits, or if you want to have it in bytes, it's 1556 8-bit bytes. This is 7-bit characters. Yeah, two decodes. Simply having more information available. The, real, the, the good reason is that to, 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 to have more information, you can code more information on one area. Yeah? So you don't have to read this line and uh, so th this barcode and this barcode and this barcode and then put it together. You have the information in stacked and matrix code, you have the information as one part and can be sure it's read correctly. Yeah? This is the good information. Now, this is why they are used simply to have more data available. Two okay. decodes. Next time we are leaving the area of printed codes. Next time we are talking about radio frequency identification or RFID. Such parts you maybe have seen already. Yeah. Chips or if you pay contactless pay. Just put your card. Boop. Thank you for subscribing to our, <laughs> to our money making machine.
Thank you for participating. We'll talk about this. What, what uh, radio frequency identification really means? Because not only, not only access systems or payment systems work that way. But we will see in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.